Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. It's a little overcast today, which is actually good because uh, the video actually looks better when there is not a sun to, you know, create all those shadows and stuff. Uh, after, after a hundred episodes, yeah, I can't believe it, I've done over a hundred episodes driving with John Chow. But after all this time, I finally got a comment on both my blog and my YouTube comment telling me that you shouldn't be driving and doing video. It's dangerous and it's illegal. Well, <laughs> first of all, it's not illegal. All right. The person made the comparison to say it's like, it's like using a cell phone. So using a cell phone is illegal when you're driving. Now, again, using a cell phone while driving is actually not illegal. See, you're allowed to, you, holding a cell phone while driving, that's illegal. But using a cell phone on Bluetooth, like this car has, hands-free, that's perfectly legal. And guess what? Hands-free video uh, recording of yourself is also not illegal. All right. Now, um, this kind of segues into my topic today, which is how do you deal with haters? <laughs> Now, I'm not saying those people who made the comment uh, are haters. I, I think they're actually generally concerned about me, my safety, and the safety of the people around me. Just, you know, they, but no. The haters and haters, but there are people who say, now that's, but most of them just went between the car. I think that's kind of more dangerous than, what I, than driving. <laughs> anyway, in California, there most of there's a lot of split lanes. Figure that out. <laughs> anyway, haters, how do you deal with them? You, if you've, been a, if you've been blogging for quite a while or you've been on the internet for quite a while and your blog even has a smidgen of success, you are going to come across the haters. That's right. They're going to just make nasty comments at you, they're saying nasty letters, etc., all that stuff. What's the best way to deal with them? When I first started uh, and someone read a nasty comment on my blog, I used to let it, let it get posted. I let the comments go because I figured, hey, I welcome all comments, good and bad. But now, as a marketing strategy, I deal with it differently. Haters, I simply don't allow it on my blog. Nope, not at all. You write a hidden comment, it don't show up. It does, it does not show up. Now, someone say, hey, that's not fair. You're stifling free speech, you know? You're destroying democracy. Well, a blog is not a democracy. A blog is a dictatorship. It's your blog, you rule it, all right? And therefore, you can run it the way you see fit. And haters, I classify the same as spammers, I nuke them. I completely nuke them. Only positive comments shows up on my blog. Same for my YouTube channel. Hating comments on YouTube channel, they get nuked as well. And why do I do that? It's because it, the haters hate it. <laughs> the haters hate it. And some oftentimes, haters will have blogs as well. And what they would do is, since they can't get their hating comment onto my blog or my YouTube channel, what they do is, they would then write their blog post about me saying, John Chow sucks. And they'll write about the blog and they'll give me more publicity. And that's great, I have no problem with that. They can hate all they want about me on their blog. They can hate all they want about me on their YouTube channels. I love it. No such thing as bad publicity in my book. And in a future episode, I will show you how to make money off, black, off bad publicity. And you can make a lot of money off black publicity. I have made thousands and thousands of dollars off black publicity, all right? So uh, basically, that's how I deal with haters. Nuke them. This is John Chow from johnchow.com. Welcome your comment, thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel.